Hello guys, today we are painting a Steve from Minecraft. I had a request for it, so here it is. You will need a mini 3x3 canvas, a painting palette, two paintbrushes, a cup of water, a paper towel, and the acrylic colors black, white, raw umber, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and cad red. If you didn't catch that, you can find the supply list in the description of the video. And if you happen to like the end product of our little Steve, you can buy him on my Etsy store. And the link to that is in the description of the video. And don't forget, you can subscribe to my art newsletter. And every month I give out tips and tricks on how you can complete your art projects. Are you guys ready? Let's get going. The most important part of this project is actually our color palette. So we're going to go ahead and get started and make our color palette. I'm going to place a little bit of black in one little spot. I'm going to put in a little bit of white. And then I'm going to put in some raw umber in the next spot. I'm going to make a mixture of equal amount of raw umber and burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, oops, I got those mixed up. That was raw umber, that's burnt sienna. A little bit of white and just a tiny little bit, tiny little bit of black. And we'll mix that in a minute as well. Next spot an equal amount of yellow ochre and white. The next spot, more white and a little bit less yellow ochre. Oop, okay, we may not mix that whole spot. <laughs> we'll take about half of that. And in the next spot, just a little bit of yellow ochre and a lot of white and a touch, just a touch of red. And I will not mix that whole spot. I'll probably take a little bit with my brush and mix it in with that. Just a very little bit of that red. And then we'll have a little bit of red over here and a bit of white. Okay, let's get mixing. So I'm going to start mixing this raw umber and burnt sienna. See how it's this more medium brown color and that's a dark brown? That's exactly what we want. So, next one. I'm going to mix the white and just a little bit of that black, make a bit of a gray. We don't want all of that black, but that'll be too much. Then we're going to mix burnt sienna, raw umber together, mix it in with that gray a bit. And it looks more muted in person than on video, but trust me, it's a grayish brown color. All right, next equal amounts of yellow ochre and white. And here, we are not using that much, just a little bit. It's going to be much lighter. The yellow ochre with lots of white and we'll have just a touch of that red in there. So let's go ahead and mix the yellow ochre and white first. Now let's add a little bit of that red. You'll notice it starts to look a little bit fleshy and pinky-like. And in this spot, We'll mix a bit of the red with the white, possibly not all the red, because we don't want too, too vibrant of a color. Yeah, that's, that's definitely pink enough. Now that we have our paint colors, let's get painting. Once you make an eight by eight grid, let's start painting. Let's start by painting in the eyes, nose, and the mouth. So the eyes start at one, two, three, four, five blocks down, and one, two, three blocks over. So this third block is going to be the black spot in his eye. Now we go over one, two, and then do another black one. Now for the whites in his eyes, clean out your brush, grab some white, and put it to the right of this block, and to the left of this block. Now you may have to go over these squares two or three times to make it really smooth and look really good. That's okay, we'll leave those to dry and we'll go back over them later. So let's go ahead and do the nose. The nose is going to be this grayish brown color that we made. So the nose is going to go in between these two squares. It's going to take up two squares. Easy, okay. Right underneath the nose, is going to be our pink that we made. 
and again it's two blocks. It can be a little messy, it doesn't have to really line up. It can, right here, I have it coming out of the, the lines a little bit and that's fine. We'll fix it up later. So, and the next spot is the mustache. And the mustache, uh, well, I think that's a mustache. Maybe, maybe it's a beard, it's probably a beard. I think it's a beard. <laughs> Let's go with beard. I'm going to use my darkest brown, but you can choose to use this brown or your medium brown. And just fill it in. And it's going to be to the left and right of the, I think that's the mouth. And we're going to make a U shape. And if you want, you can go ahead and turn your canvas and paint the edge right there the brown color you chose. The only other spots you need to worry about before you can just randomly put colors in the squares is where the hairline is. So let's go ahead and define where the hairline is. I'm grabbing my darkest brown and I'm going one, two, three squares down from the top and I'm going to fill that in right there. Then on the right, I'm going one, two, three and then down and filling that in and his hairline is all of this line up here so we can do these colors together. I'm going to go ahead and fill in these three squares, the dark brown. And then these two squares, dark brown. And this square, I'm doing the medium brown. and this square medium brown. And then this square, I'm doing the gray brown. Now I've made it look very messy, but it's okay because like I said, once it dries, we'll go over it again and make it look much nicer. From here on out, what I'm going to do is go down my palette from my darkest to my lightest, and I'm going to lay down every little dark brown spot that I want, every medium brown spot that I want, every gray, brown, and then to the skin tones, I'm just going to go down and put down every little square that I want in that color, and then make sure it's dry, and then go back over it again. It doesn't matter where um, you put any of these colors at this point. Uh, just make your best judgment, like down here on his face, you're probably going to want to use the skin tones which are from this yellow to this pinky yellow color, and you may also want to use a little bit of your white. And up here, you're going to want to stick with your brown tones up in his hair, and really, that's, that's it. <laughs> you can even use a little bit of this gray brown on his skin somewhere, maybe on one or two random squares, but uh, there, there is no perfect way to do this. You can just kind of do it your own way, so let's, Let's just get crazy and start painting. So I've just finished placing all of my darkest uh, raw umber spots. Now I'm going to the medium brown. Now I'm done placing the medium brown. Now I'm going to the brown gray. Now I'm done with the gray light brown. And as you can see, I decided to put some down here and right there on his cheeks. So now I'm going to the yellowish color. Now I'm finished with our darkest yellowy skin color. Now I'm going to the next one. Now it's time to go to the lightest skin color. Okay, I finished putting on all the colors. Now I'm going to go back and do it all over again just to make sure they're nice, solid, and neat looking. And then we'll be done. Okay, this is it, I'm done. So this is my little Steve Minecraft face. And I hope you guys are able to do this too, step by step, I hope it made it easy enough for you guys to do. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And don't forget to check out my site at artistrage.com for more fun art tutorials. Alright, let me know what you'd like to see next time, and I'll see you later. Bye!